There is a very easy method to detect if by chance one of the modules or some of the modules are giving trouble. In this case, we are deep discharging the battery or deep cycling the battery. All we need is a Cat4 multimeter and then of course our safety gloves. The reason is because we're going to do high voltage measurement. Now, while the battery is being drained collectively, we can do the measurement of each individual module at a very low rate of state of charge, which in this case, we are about 141, which is, is about nominal. So all we need to do is, let me remove the voltage sensor, okay? Let me just remind you, we have fully live voltage right here in the battery. That's the reason that we need to use our gloves. Now I'm gonna use my Cat4 multimeter and I'm gonna set it up to, because I'm not really measuring high voltage here, but individual module, I'm gonna set it up to 60 volts. And look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna measure the individual voltage of the modules. Let's see what we get. First module is reading us 7.18. The second one, 7.18. Third, 7.17. Okay, we begin to see now a little difference. Okay, now remember this, but oh, look, 7.22. Hmm, let me see. 7.18, 7.22. So this, this is how you see that this battery is definitely not in balance. 17. Let me just continue randomly doing some measurements. Yes, I can clearly see that this battery, while discharging, there are modules that the state of charge is actually lowers. Aha, I found one here, look. This one is 17, this one is 7, 7118, 7117, 7116. So look, so far we could say that this one could be one of our weakest one. Let's see, 18 again, 16, another one, 17, you see, the last one, 117. So. When deep discharging the high voltage battery, you have to make sure all the modules are discharging equally. So you will know that the battery is remaining in balance. In this case, we have some of them that's showing us a uh, seven point, I think it was a little over 20 something. Let me see. Hmm, telling us clearly that, yep, this battery is definitely out of balance. So that is exactly what we're trying to do. Deep discharging and deep cycling this high voltage battery to restore its maximum capacity available. Unfortunately, with a battery that already suffered heat stress, you're not gonna fix the problem, but it will prove for sure. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more details. See you then. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.